In this problem, I'm going to envision two blocks of mass M1 and M2 connected to each other by a light string, which is suspended over a pulley. Block number one is on an inclined plane whose angle off the ground is theta, and there's friction between the block M1 and the inclined plane, which has a coefficient of friction, a kinetic coefficient of friction, mu k. Block two is hanging in midair off the, the side of the inclined plane. We could ask what is the acceleration A for the system and what is the t, tension T in the string connecting the two objects. As before, it's best to begin with writing down free body diagrams. So if we consider the forces on M1, there are four of them. There's the tension T in the string, which is trying to pull the block up the rope or up the ramp. And as a result of it trying to pull up the static force of friction or, excuse me, the kinetic force of friction is trying to pull it down the ramp. There's the normal force trying to push off of the ramp, and there's the force of gravity pointing straight down. For mass 2, there are only two forces. There's the tension in the string pulling straight up, and there's gravity pulling straight down. We're going to write a coordinate system which moves along the motion of the string, and if we were to set the positive x direction to go, to go up this, the length of the ramp, then the, y direct, the positive y direction would go off of the ramp. We have to write down Newton's laws again and say that mass 1 times acceleration in the x direction is the sum of the forces on it. Mass 1 times acceleration in the y direction is the sum of the forces acting on m1. And m2 times the acceleration in the x direction is the, some of the forces acting on it. M1 has two forces, three forces, excuse me, acting in the x direction. There's the kinetic force of friction pointing backwards, so in the, it's minus mu k times n. There's gravity, which points, in this case, in the negative x direction. It has a component minus m1g sine theta. And there's the tension t pointing up the incline. In the y direction, there's a net zero force because it's not accelerating off of the the inclined plane, and the two forces are the normal force pointing up and minus mg cosine theta pointing down. For mass 2, mass 2 times acceleration in the x direction equals m2g minus tension. Notice that for mass 2, the x coordinate is positive when it's pointing down because we're talking about uh, motion along the string, and if the mass 1 advances positive one meter by going up the incline, mass two advances positive one meter by falling down that one meter. So for this mass two, the positive x direction is pointing down. If we focus our attention on the middle column here, we are able to solve for what the normal force is because I can say, move turns around and say that normal force equals m1g cosine theta. And we can use that in just a moment. In the case of the right hand column we can say we can try to isolate T which is an unknown and say that T is M2 G minus A. Now we don't know the acceleration A yet but we will in just a moment. We're going to insert these two expressions for the normal force and T into our column over here on the left. In this case we have M1 times A is minus mu M1 G cosine theta minus m1g sine theta plus the tension which was m2g minus a. Now we have in this thing, in this expression, everything is known except for the acceleration a. We can move terms with a over to the right hand side, the left hand side of the equation. We have m1 plus m2 times a equals all the stuff on the right hand side. And this allows us to solve for a. a is g times the fraction m2 minus m1 mu cos theta plus sine theta divided by m1 plus m2. And if we go back to our expression for t and plug in this value for a, we find that t is m2g times m1 1 plus mu k cosine theta plus sine theta all over m1 plus m2. 
These are both very complicated expressions, and there's many places where we could have gone wrong algebraically. It's best to check our answers. So if we take our two solutions for acceleration and for tension, let's look at some limiting cases. One limiting case is when theta is 90 degrees. That means that the inclined plane points straight up, and it's almost as if it's not there because I have the two masses hanging from that pulley. This is a lot like a sample problem we did before. If we insert theta is 90 degrees, the cosine of theta will equal 0. The sine of theta will equal 1. And if we look at our expression for A, we get m2 minus m1 over m2 plus m1 times g. And we get t is m1 times m2 times 2 over m1 plus m2 all times g. Both of these expressions are identical to what we derived for exactly this problem with two pulleys, uh, two masses suspended over a pulley some time ago. So actually in this case, our, our expressions in, in the boxes above have produced the correct limiting case. Another extreme is when we imagine that theta is zero degrees, and in fact this inclined plane is a lot like a tabletop. If we plug in theta is 0 degrees, then the cosine will equal 1 and the sine will equal 0. And we find that A is G times M2 over M1 plus M2. And T is M to 1 M2 G over M1 plus M2. Again, this is a lot like expressions we derived before, at least for the simple case when the coefficient of friction is 0 between the table and the, and the mass M1.